All right, let's talk about that. Lonnie is here. We got a lot of words. Got a situation coming our way. <laughs> we got a situation. Yeah, yeah. There's some strong storms moving into the area right now. Look, we're not picking up the rain in New York City. It's out there. It's going to be moving in. It's 71 degrees as of right now. Mostly cloudy skies overhead, and our area, with the exception of the East End, has a marginal risk, meaning a 10% chance for flash flooding. But that may very well get bumped up because, look, just outside of Philadelphia, the area shaded in yellow, that's a 20% risk. This is already verified. We've already seen big rainfall numbers out there. So flooding, flash flooding, that's one of our concerns. The other is a 10% risk for almost anybody in our area. Again, not so much the east end, but it's a marginal 10% chance for severe thunderstorms. And that comes with strong winds. It comes with heavy rain. The lightning risk is out there as well. So that's also a concern. Here's what we're looking at. And, boy, this is just rough through the Chesapeake. Now it's in northern Delaware. Uh, real strong at that point in time. But keep in mind, when it's moving over the, the Chesapeake, that's much warmer water than we have here in the Atlantic Ocean. So as this one cell right now, all those lightning strikes now narrow down to one. It's weakening as it approaches uh, Long Beach Island, Stafford. Here's how it's going to play out. All right, this is pretty good initialization. This is midnight, 1230 tonight. Lo and behold, 3.30 in the morning, look what we're talking about, right on top of New York City. So yeah, this is actually before the real heart of the morning commute, but look at this tail that extends out towards Raritan. Remember this, okay? If this area right here verifies, because watch what we see this doing, it's going to regenerate. If that holds true, that's a number of hours now where you're picking up heavy rain in the same areas, not so much to the north, not so much to the south, but this little channel right here could see some big rainfall totals. And you're going to get to the lunchtime hour, all right? A little bit hangs out around 8 o'clock in the morning, the end of your commute, and then there's a break. A little bit of sun even pops out in some areas. Now, there's still a rain chance around lunchtime, but it's overall a break. And with the sun popping out in areas, it heats up the atmosphere, giving you more lift. And sure enough, as a cold front comes in, you could have another possibility for some severe storms in the area. A little bit spottier in the afternoon, but it's there. So remember that channel I was talking about? This is anywhere. All those numbers. It, it, the possibility is there. Is it going to set up here? Will it be a little bit more to the north? Does it go south? But right now, the potential is some areas could be seeing a one to even three inch range. And that's why flash flooding is on the board. Wow. New Brunswick now comes in at 3.9. Less to the north, less to the south. But yeah, big rain, strong storms. Uh, we're going to keep our eye on rotation in the atmosphere. And right now, we don't see the shear, but I'm going to watch that one carefully. It's a yellow alert for tomorrow, especially that early, early morning morning commute. Friday overall, you're better. Saturday better as well. You don't erase the rain chances, but they are slight. And then Sunday and Monday, maybe you're up to maybe a 25 or 30 percent chance. But I think the concern is what we deal with overnight into your day tomorrow. All right, Lonnie. Thank you.